So I'm here in the art alley, alley of uh, Kokomo, and I had uh, the other day gone straight up and walked over here. And this piece actually, uh, what the artist was saying was represents uh, the process of surrendering, surrendering her life or her to God's will. I thought that was kind of a cool piece. And there's some other pieces around here too. But I thought that was a pretty cool piece. So I had uh, gotten back. And there's some other ones. Made some trash. You know, what's trash? Kind of made it into a butterfly kind of deal. That was kind of cool. Some others down here and whatnot. But this one verse I got back. And the Lord was starting to lay this one verse on me. Matthew 26, 16. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Well, Lord, what are you trying to speak to? Well, let's look at it. Temple, he said. Replace temple with artist. And the gold, you know, with uh, the art. And so sometimes we have a tendency to replace a lot of the art we kind of, we value the art pieces more than the person themselves he's saying you know who inspired the art piece it was a person wasn't it and there's a piece over here i kind of like it's called um i forget what it's called exactly <laughs> but it's called uh this is a scene of worship so so many times we try to value the art pieces more than the artists themselves. And what God was kind of showing me through that verse, you know, there it is again, uh, Matthew twenty-six sixteen, is sometimes we don't value uh, the person that made the art. And we are a temple of God, aren't we? So I just thought that was kind of interesting. So... God bless. Bye.